Hey everyone, welcome back to my web journey. In this video, we'll talk about the documents required for verification at the time of reporting at the college in case you get any college in any of the rounds in the visa counseling. So without wasting your time, let's get started. The very first thing is the admit card of NEET UG 2023. Then your rank card of NEET UG that is nothing but your result of NEET. Then Aadhaar card or voter ID or ration card or passport or PAN card and etc. as provided in NEET UG application form. So the document which you have provided in NEET UG application form, the same document you have to carry. So you can carry any of them. And the next thing is proof for date of birth certificate. So for that you can carry your birth certificate or a secondary school examination or equivalent certificate. Then you have to carry your 12th mark sheet, a qualifying examination mark sheet. Then you have to carry 12th certificate or provisional certificate. Along with that you also have to carry character certificate from the school. So uh, from the school, uh, from where you have passed your 12th standard, they only give you these things, okay? Like the 12th mark sheet and provisional certificate or you know that uh, TC and all. And after character certificate, you need to carry six passport size and one postcard size colored photograph. Then OCI or PIO card issued by the appropriate authority if applicable. So it's not generally required in certain conditions it's required. Then equivalency certificate from AIU in case of students educated in abroad. So if you, if you have educated from abroad then you have to carry this equivalency certificate from AIU. Then the candidate who belong to different categories like OBC category, SC category, ST, EWS or PWD category. If you are coming under any of these categories, then you have to carry your certificate, your caste certificate, which is where which should be central. Okay, so central certificate like uh, central OBC certificate or central SC, ST, EWS. And one more thing that your uh, certificate, your central certificate, caste certificate should not be in your regional language. You have to convert it into English or Hindi. So generally your caste certificate should be in English. Then coming to the fees of various rounds in VCA counselling. So the registration fees for round 1, round 2 and mop up round for general category is thousand rupees for EWS or OBC category it's 900 rupees and for SC, ST, PWD or transgender candidates it's 500 rupees. In case you're participating in mop up round then you have to pay additional security deposit fees which is 10,000 rupees for general OBC, EWS or PIO candidate and 5,000 rupees for SC, ST, PH or transgender candidates. Now this uh, security deposit is refundable in certain conditions. Now coming to stray round. So if you want to participate in stray round, then you have to pay 50,000 rupees in case you, you are from general or OBC or EWS or PIO category and 25,000 rupees if you are from SC, ST, PH or transgender. Coming to eligibility criteria. So the candidate must be an Indian citizen and the age of the candidate should be at least 17 years. Minimum age criteria is 17 years and they have not mentioned the upper age limit. So uh, you need to keep in mind that you must be 17 years of age if you are participating in VCI counselling or you must be 17 years of age by this year. They have also mentioned that in class 12th you must have physics, chemistry, biology or biotechnology and English as the main subject. And if you are from general category then you must score 50% aggregate marks in all the subjects. And if you are from SC or ST category, then you have to uh, score at least 47.5 percentage in every subject. You must pass your 12th standard in order to participate in the VCI counselling. Next, coming to the physical disability. So they have clearly mentioned that if the person or the candidate is having any of this disabil uh, disability, then he or she will not be allowed to participate in the counselling. You can see on the screen all these criteria. That's all in this video. I'll be uploading a separate video for all the rounds and, and the criteria. So stay tuned and you can follow me on Instagram and Telegram. Also links are mentioned in the description. You can check. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video. Till then take care. Bye.